environmental art. Some call it a truly modern art movement. Others are less enthusiastic. Most are blissfully ignorant. Ephemeral environmental artist Ed Art would have it no other way. No! Ice! Ephemeral environmental art is reminiscent of the lesser known and arguably less than influential Canadian neo-post-modern environmental movements of the late 20th century. Ephemeral environmental art uh, can easily be compared to the highly regarded urban and suburban environmental movements such as the neo-punk eruptive deconstruction movement, the uh, immersive disillusion movement with its uh, negative impact on the environment uh, designed as an ironic response to the radicalization of environmental awareness this movement is known for its rejection of the color green and its component parts blue and yellow. And of course the much maligned urban renewal movement of the mid-1980s. Now, this movement has been virtually ignored by art critics and historians and condemned by some as commercial or even more cruelly as an industry. But to end this digression and arrive at a more relevant point. That is to say, I will now focus my attention and therefore your attention on the central or rather primary subject of this objective media treatise. <laughs> if I may be permitted to use the word objective in this context as a, a kind of um, intellectual objectivity regarding a subject about which I admittedly uh, feel uh, some passion, albeit a clinical passion, <laughs> if that concept is not too absurdly contradictory. Uh, not an emotional or animalistic passion, as one must reserve that for more secluded venues, allowing one to examine that passion in uh, a different context. <laughs> and in this case, in a kind of uh, vicarious and frankly voyeuristic method, with a crucial self-imposed emotional uh, sterility, if you will. Ephemeral environmental art is temporary, you know, it's ephemeral. It exists only in the moment that it's created. With minimal, minimal, or zero, zero impact on the environment. So how do um, audiences respond to your work? What do you mean? Well, well um, at what stage in your process do you consider the audience's response, and, and how does that manifest well, itself in your work? don't have an audience. No? No, 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 no. Ephemeral environmental art is art for its own sake. It can't have an audience. Well, why not? Because it's ephemeral. Ah, yes, I see. Oh, do you? Yes. Do you? Yes. No, you don't. You don't. Ephemeral environmental art has rules. Rules? Rules, yeah, rules. You know what rule one is? You're an idiot. <laughs> no, am I serious? Oh, I don't know. Ask that of yourself. Rule two, all materials must be found by the artist. Rule three, it exists only as long as it takes to create and it must be destroyed immediately upon completion. Rule four, no one, no one, no one, no one, but the artist can be aware that it ever existed. So, existentialism is a major theme in your work. What is existentialism? Uh, well, it's, it's a philosophical standpoint that gives priority to existence over essence. <sighs> what the hell does it mean? Well, um... Uh, I, I don't actually know. You're not an artist, are you? Oh, no, alas, I'm merely a spectator. A critic? No, no, no. I'm more of a historian, really. I wouldn't presume to criticize. Even after all these years of study, art is still a great mystery to me. So you can't make art. You don't understand art, but they pay you more money than artists who actually create art just to talk about it? I do have credentials from three very reputable universities. Are you even British? No, I'm from Saskatchewan. There are enormous aesthetic and practical challenges created by the very ephemerality of ephemeral environmental art. The 
only record of ephemeral environmental art is in the artist's memory. So there are no photographs of your work? No. Um, no, no, no video? No, 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 no drawings? No, no, no! You sound like the Arts Council. Ah, so you've had uh, difficulty uh, getting support for your work? I don't need fascist arts foundations and council wankers. I don't need it. I don't need it. I support myself. I support my art. My art supports itself. My art supports me. I support myself. Perhaps we could film you at work. Perhaps a, a, a record, a, a film record of your own no, work could, no, could no. legitimize you. Are you not? Wrong. Are you not listening? It's fundamental to my work. It's fundamental to my work. It's no record. No. Perhaps you could uh, uh, demonstrate your process to us and call it a sketch, if you will. <laughs> a sketch. Sketch this, you fat academic fop. Are we ready to order? An artist's will can transform the audience, change his very existence. Now, despite the brevity of my limited contact with this passionate, driven artist, I have been transformed from a humble scholar to a primitive hunter pursuing his prey. searching for the elusive Holy Grail. Like an archaeologist digging through the ruins of ancient Egypt, I am obsessive in my pursuit of my own treasure of the tomb common. A precious treasure that will never be seen inside a museum. Oh! 